Cancel segue. culture is a real thing, despite what John Stewart might say. He was actually just uh, saying that on Sunday night, the 22nd annual New Yorker Festival, they close out with a virtual talk with John Stewart and one of their editors, and this is what he had to say about cancel culture. How do you come All down the on this? Who on talk this about cancel yeah. culture. Here's yeah. here's a nice absurdity. Okay. People that talk about cancel culture never seem to shut the <laughs> up about it. Like, there's more speech now than ever before. It's not you can't say, it's that when you say it, look, the internet has democratized criticism. There's more free speech than ever before. It's such That's a what lie. It's such a scam when they talk like that. This is straight up totalitarianism, erasing anybody that disagrees with their political side. And so I just think it's, it's so out of touch to talk like that. Yeah, and it's literally Dave Chappelle right now, everyone's trying to cancel. And when you're trying to say, hey, I'm a comedian as well, and there's no cancel culture, like you have to just be on another planet. You have to be hanging out with the star people and Demi Lovato, honestly, yeah. if you don't think that cancel culture is a real thing. Well, Turning Point USA has literally hired people who have been canceled from their other jobs because they did say something politically or you know religious uh, on social media that people didn't agree with and then called their employers to have them fired. So mm -hmm. it absolutely does exist. I have a very close friend to my family who who had she had posted something on social media and her husband lost his job as one of the top surgeons in the country because of what his wife said in in regards to their political views and i think that they're in the middle of you know coming out with that story they haven't talked about it yet but he was banned mm -hmm. from being able to practice in a medical capacity in the entire state that he lives in because of their political beliefs so cancel culture absolutely exists wow Wow. Yeah, and it affects more than just celebrities, too. I feel like sometimes when we have this conversation, people are always going to bring up the Dave Chappelle's because it's in the news and it's all over the place. His special just came out. They'll bring up Gina Carano. But yes. this affects everyday Americans, too. And I think those are some of the conversations you have with kids on your yeah, book tour and you've exactly. had for so long. Cancel culture is essentially mediocre people who have never had a novel or new idea in their entire lives coming and trying to cancel someone for having a difference of opinion because they've never said anything that's interesting. So when someone comes out and says something that goes against the grain or has some sort of nuance to it, they say, oh, you're not a part of our group, you're not a part of our agenda, then we need to cancel you, right? It is uncreative people coming and thinking that they have some sort of herd morality by being around other people who agree with them, and then someone goes against that and they want to absolutely destroy that person. Mm -hmm. Of course it's a real thing, and social media only exacerbates that fact because people can see what other people are saying constantly, and they feel like that having that sort of social recognition is far more important than having anything that requires any sort of thinking. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.